Hello everybody, this is Krista and welcome back to Adventures in Metaphysics. And today I have a very exciting unboxing. I pre-ordered the very last expansion pack that Claire Goodchild put out for the Memento Mori Oracle. This is the Folk Magic expansion pack, I believe that's the name, but I can't really remember. <laughs> and it showed up a day early. Actually, no, not even a day early like four days early, I think. I think it was supposed to come the 6th and it came today, which is March 31st. <gasps> so exciting. Anyways, so I thought I would unbox it here with you today. So I just, I have to get right started. This is so exciting. I'm really, I probably would have gotten any expansion pack <laughs> that went with this deck because I love this Oracle, but this theme in particular, I was really, really excited to see. I love anything to do with folk magic, folk tales, folklore. I think it's all so very interesting. Okay. So this is, that's our receipt. Let's see what this is. Oh, I feel like that must be almost like ASMR. <laughs> Letter opening ASMR. Brought to you by me. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Okay. Oh! Oh, very cool. I love how they come with these these cards, I have a moon one that I keep on my working space and we have this postcard, but I forgot that um, if you are a member of her Patreon, you got this extra card, the Witch's Ladder Patreon. Oh, so cool. That's really exciting. Let's see. I have to check to see if there's any meanings for it or keywords, but very cool. All right, so let's get into the expansion pack here. <laughs> I feel like half this video is going to be me just trying to get into the packaging. I really like to overestimate how good I am at opening things <laughs> because I always seem to struggle. Okay. Memento Mori General Expansion Expansion Pack 2, the Folk Magic Collection. <gasps> so exciting. Okay, we've got lots to get through here. Once I get this plastic off, we will be ready to rumble. Oh, I, get, I always get so nervous taking off this like really close plastic. Am I building suspense? <laughs> I feel like maybe this is kind of like good dramatic effect. Me slowly opening the package. That's what I'll say. Intentional for dramatic effect. Not just me struggling. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have our little fold-out leaflet that come with them, which I usually stick these right into the initial guidebook that came with the Oracle. I, I stick them right in the back. All right, let's get into the cards. So, of course, they've got the same backs. We've got the Mortar and Pestle. Chess Piece. Stang. I don't know what a Stang is. We're going to have to look at that one. Witch Ball. I love that one. I think Witch's Balls are so interesting. Wishbone. I love these. We kind of have this daisy theme going on. We've got them in here too. Or sorry, they more like chamomile flowers there. Really interesting. Coffin nails. How cool. Rolling pin. Hagstone. Daisy wheel. I've not heard of that. It looks like a sand dollar. 
Ooh, spider. Clothes pin. Apron. Yeah, we've got a lot of the same florals going on. I'd be really interested to know the connection there. Spell. Wow, that's really, really interesting. I know this, I think that's a symbol of something, but I can't quite pinpoint what. I'm going to have to look that up. Bone house. Oh, how cool. Weather vane. I want one of these so badly on our house. <laughs> I think that would be so cool. Knitting needles. Boar. Runes. How cool is that card? Oh, I love that. Owl. I love this one too. I love owls and any sort of owl kind of cards. Door knocker. Cow. Shell. Feather. Pail. Nest. I love that one too. Snail. Nettle. Pipe. Drum. And labyrinth. Wow, look at that card. That's really interesting. And then we've got our witch's ladder card. These are so good. All right, let's shuffle these. We'll just shuffle this expansion pack and pull some cards from those so that we can get an idea for the keywords the guidebook gives and how they might fit together. We got pipe. Spider. Oh, and the Witch's Ladder. We'll move these down a little. Which I'm not sure if we get keywords for the Witch's Ladder. I'll have to check and see if maybe that was given somewhere else. I'm not super sure. But we can check for the others. So, the pipe says, The Grandfathers, Ritual Smoke, Agreements and social contracts, spiritual guidance. Oh, I love that. The grandfathers. I feel like pipe smoking really does give off such grandfather energy. I don't really see, I don't personally know anyone who does that anymore, but it does have this real like elders type feel to it. All right. And the spider says, weaving a trap, the goddess, have patience, creation and artistry, work your will, Conceal something, spiritual teacher. And I don't know, I don't think we get the witch's ladder meanings. Let me see if I can find that somewhere. Okay, I couldn't seem to find any meaning given directly from Claire Goodchild, but I'll have to do some digging later. I probably am just missing it, but I did some research and a witch's ladder is a tool used for meditation or ritual spell work, which I think is really interesting. So you have a rope that is knotted a few times throughout with sort of different charms and talismans also tied to it. So it's similar to, um, if you're familiar with a rosary, it can kind of be used in that way, or it can be a um, protection spell of sorts. So I think that's really interesting. I need to remind myself of the others. But I do feel like they, it's an interesting reading we're getting. It all really has to do with like ritual because the pipe we have, ritual smoke, agreements and social contracts, spiritual guidance, spider is weaving a trap, the goddess have patience, spirit, work your will, spiritual teacher conceal something. 
So the thought I'm kind of getting from this, if I want to put these cards together, the way I would probably read them is that there could be something something that perhaps you need to work on, maybe something that has to do with spirituality or spiritual work or inner healing work perhaps. That's that's how I would personally look at it if I was reading for myself. Something that is being sort of blocked or is something that I can't nest or I'm not seeing, something that's not at the forefront. And I'm seeing the spider in kind of a positive way of trapping that part of myself to make it visible. Interesting. I think these cards are really, really awesome. I'm so excited to add these into the rest of my deck. It's going to make this an absolute monster of a deck, but it's going to be such a good addition. I really am such a fan of this folk magic theme. It's really, really, oh, it's so cool. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed this sort of spur of the moment unboxing and flip through. I, I am over the moon that I got this in so early. This was so much fun, but I hope you all have a fantastic end of your week.